What is up, bros? Josh here. Today's video is, yes, we're going over another ranked battle video, but it's the last one. We we finished both accounts last night on the stream. We got both accounts to rank one. Yes, I did two accounts this season on rank one. Our alt account took 72 games. Our main account took 67 games, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, some pretty pretty good win rates. I think we're mid-60s on both accounts. And overall, I had a lot of fun this season, but I wanted to do kind of a breakdown talking about this season in general, what I thought, shit tears timing of the season and what i kind of hope we see going forward with arms race um obviously when the recording of this video happened there was some time left in the season about a week and a half or so so good luck to everyone still grinding out there you can do it believe in your dreams and uh, go get that rank one get that steal um but overall let's just talk about the tier nine and the tier of this arms race game mode and that was in my opinion, one of the worst tiers you could have possibly chosen, and that's because of a variety of ships. Now, if you saw my video, um, I do every season, I do a video where I think the best ships were, um, or I think the best ships will be going into the season. We do kind of a recap, and I was almost dead on. Destroyers, honestly, were... Um, now, I think I put the USS Black a bit higher than everything else, but honestly, if you weren't using a Jutland, if you weren't using a Kitakaze or using a USS Black, you were at a disadvantage for this team. It was just... In my opinion, it went Jutland, Kitakaze, USS Black, and everything else was head and shoulders below that. Now, I will get somebody that's going to be mad in comments talking about how good they're doing in their Fletcher or how good they're going, doing in their Z46 and how with their Z46 they beat all the Jutlands they went against. But if you honestly were going and using a Jutland, a Kitakaze, or USS Black, you give your team the best advantage. And if you're using anything else, literally anything else other than those three, you were seriously at a disadvantage against an equal skilled player in those other ships. They just were head and shoulders above everything. So, so many games, all you'd see was Jutland's Kitakazes with the eventual USS Black thrown in there. And if you did see a Z46 or a Fletcher, the team that didn't have that just did have a, uh, an advantage. Let's not even talk about Russian destroyers or Chung Mu, radar Chung Mu's. Um, it was just, it was just a waste of a slot for most of those. So it's kind of sad to see that. I like seeing a mode where more ships are um, viable, if there were. And obviously, you can get rank one in everything in this season, and always in every rank game mode. But this season, though, if you didn't use one of those top threes, you were just at a disadvantage. And um, we also saw that with the battleships. And the bad part about tier nine is that the two of the best battleships, which is the Musashi and the Missouri, were no longer available going throughout the season. And the John Bart required a lot of coal to get there. So um, that was one thing I was really nervous about this season and um, wasn't really excited about with having the lack of availability of some of these best ships when it came to um, uh, Tier 9. So that was obviously something I was worried about and obviously something that did happen. M Musashis were the best battleship I saw, um, but it was a very DD-heavy season. So stuff like Missouri and John Bart did get um, better in certain situations. Situations. Other than that, though, we saw the occasional Freddy to grow. That was kind of like the meme ship this season, and uh, if played well, it had an extremely high like skill level, an extremely high um, skill level to do it well. But some people were doing it well. I think on the C server, it had one of the highest win rates, if not the highest win rate of all battleships, which was kind of funny. Um, some were very effective. People were playing it pretty well, and uh, overall. Could have some success but obviously outside of the top three musashi john bart missouri not really in that order um those were the best battleships anything else was just at a disadvantage and again anything any cruises that didn't have radar was also at a disadvantage so pretty much you had three picks and if you weren't using those three picks then you were at a disadvantage. So kind of a bummer going into that. It was kind of expected. Again, tier nine had no CVs. Uh, we're going through the entire CV rework. So those weren't something we had to worry about, but lack of variety definitely was a downside, but let's talk about CVs and timing of this entire season. And that's right during the rework. And I think this was something that a lot of people uh, took as an excuse uh, not like it's a bad thing. No, I'm saying they're making excuses for not playing, but uh, a, a big reason of why maybe people didn't play this season. Um, last night when I was ranking out, um, I saw some of the lowest, um, some of the lowest numbers I'd ever seen on North America for server population. Now, um, I also did ask in chat. I said, "Hey, are people taking breaks?" And they talked about how, um, about how the arms race mode themselves got people tiresome as well as 
the timing of the CV rework. And I've kind of said that it's not people, people were kind of burnt out anyway with World of Warships and the CV rework gave a lot of people. Now this isn't an entire video about, let's talk about CV rework. I'm just saying it time-wise, it couldn't have been any worse. Um, but I feel like a lot of people maybe missed this season or avoided this season when talking about um, the lack of, or the, the CV rework coming out at the time it did and then going also into um, the arms race just being different and kind of hard to play in certain situations. So that was something I think that maybe ended up for people, a lot of people not playing this uh, season, not playing this game mode during this time. Uh, and I think uh, potentially did cause some problems for that. So it definitely did at times get a, um, let me take a random tour up here, feels bad, but okay, also I guess it's worth it. Um, so that I think caused a lot of people to potentially not play and having potentially a small player base when it came to this season. So a bit of a downside in my opinion, but the timing couldn't have been any worse. Uh, the game, although I think the CV rework, and this is completely a different uh, topic for a different video, but I think the CV rework is uh, just gave a lot of people some time and an opportunity to maybe dip out from the game for a while and that just so happened to fall under uh when this game mode was going out so i don't know i guess let me know in the comments below if you guys are taking a break from the game do the cp rework if you missed this the actual uh season because of it and also if just the arms race mode wasn't uh wasn't that maybe fun for a lot of people and also i mean there's a lot of things tier 9 being a problem too it was just a weird season and we definitely did see a lot more names also it being a shorter season with only four weeks instead of the normal six week uh, duration um i think there's a lot of variables that end up being a bit of a problem when it came to uh this just the season in general so i think there's a lot of variables that were um a bit of a, a bummer here uh but overall i Let's talk about the game mode itself, Arms Race. Now, I found Arms Race to actually be quite a lot of fun and unique, but for many people, I'd only played a little bit of it, but for many people, this was the first time they had ever played Arms Race. The first time they had ever played his Arms Race. So, um, when you add something brand new like that, I think it's gonna throw a lot of people off, and I think that's something that it did too, is, Arms Race was so new. So few people had actually played it. We had had it as, an, as a game mode for a little while, and a lot of people didn't even play it then because what happened was we had Wargaming. Wargaming didn't allow you to get rewards for missions through Arms Race, so that was kind of a mess up by them. And so just basically no one played it. And here we go, seeing a, a full secondary Alsace um, just absolutely obliterate a Kitakaze. So uh, I kind of wanted to almost do a third account and just look at how much this dude rips up that uh kitakaze with secondaries like sweet jeebus just zero, 100 to zero in like no time um, i thought that was pretty cool and i was like man that sounds like a fun build to play uh but anyways um the game mode itself i think i think arms race is actually pretty fun uh the, the biggest downside and the biggest critiques you're getting from a lot of people is that one they don't think it's a very good competitive mode and the, i think the main reason behind that is that so few people had played it and i think that's a little bit on wargaming that's when they announced that's when i was surprised when they announced that uh, this was going to be the game mode um that we see for this season of rank battles i was super super surprised it seemed so weird to me that they were going to do it that way um it, because you kind of almost had honestly you almost had a a, an untested game mode being the game mode of a tried and true game mode i mean if that makes any sense um so that was kind of surprising i think the arms race definitely definitely does have a place as a game mode itself and potentially as a new uh a new competitive uh game mode so this is something i could see them throwing in and obviously you could play several other tiers this is a game mode that could easily be different tiers i'd love to see them throw more reward zones in with different rewards there's a lot of things they could do with this and i think that's pretty awesome just the downside is you have a uh, people are on edge because of the CV rework. You have a short, the shorter season ever, and you have a, a new game mode that a lot of people haven't played, and it's the new game mode that people have to go through. So I think that's why it's this season in general is getting a lot of negative press, if you will, um, because all those kind of adding up is going to not really help with this with this game mode. So that's just my opinion. I don't know if that's actually true, but it seems like it's kind of adding up when you talk to people. So, uh, but overall, I enjoyed it. It promoted being aggressive. 
it makes people do different things. You're still going to get the same potatoes as you do every season. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that's just kind of comes with rank that you're going to get no matter what the game mode is. Um, I would like to see normal ranked modes and then this potentially be its own thing. I've talked several times about how World of Warships is basically switching out its, its content from grinding ships to new types of gameplay and game modes and this is something that we've seen obviously rank sprint could be a thing in the future um, i've talked on stream about some ga new game mode ideas kind of mixing back and forth um, with uh, with some other game modes kind of you know tidying them in i would love to see potentially like a frontline mode that world of tanks has in world of warships um, but I could see a, a ranked arms race mode getting something that's thrown in and just keeping it uh, the spice of life. The grind of the, the grind of rank battles, clan battles, rank battles, clan battles, rank battles, clan battles. Especially when we went two seasons in a row of rank battles that were tier ten. That was just that was just so fucking brutal. It was it was so boring. You played. I think I played Sleeping Giant, uh, Hot Spot, you know, everything, all those thousands of times within like a six month phase. It's just like, give us a break. It's just too much. So variety when it comes to this and new game modes, even though they were the same maps, you played different parts of the map. If that makes any sense, you actually played different parts of the map. So that was pretty awesome and that was something i really kind of enjoyed and it promoted not really farming because you could completely control the game by just even there were there were games where we had less shifts but we won because we just held down the middle capped it out or just got more buffs so i i enjoyed that so overall i think it was a success i just think you're a lot of people are mad about this because it's different and obviously with all the cp rework talks there's a lot of change going on that is kind of making everybody mad um but overall, uh, what I think we'll see is this is a bit of a unique, uh, and this is always funny when cruisers, I thought I was dead right here. So, um, and I didn't think he would end up doing this, but, uh, Hey, it's all right. It's all right with me. If, if, if a, uh, if we just wants to kind of chill there, but, um, although I think it was a good success, I think it was a bit of a, um, I don't even know the right way of saying it. I think it was a bit of a, uh, what, what's, what's the right word? It, they, they really wanted this to work. They wanted something different. I think it may have been a bit aggressive, um, but uh, overall, I think it was kind of a success uh, when it comes to just playing um, just playing this game. So uh, this game mode, I think, was good. I think we'll see it somewhere in the future. But I'd love to get your guys' point of view on this game mode. And am I, am I right with saying there's just so much other shit going on right now that it made for a lot of people to just not want to play this game mode? Like, am I wrong for that? I don't think I really am. Um, I think this game mode would have been a lot more popular if we had a longer window of old school. And if you're in a Buki uh, sitting in one spot, probably isn't the best idea. Um, oh, no, I think I get him with... Uh, I get, yeah, I must, oh, spoiler. I think I get him with my set. But, um, yeah, I, I really think they tried to make something happen that just wasn't quite ready. And, uh, and see if you work memes. Um, but I think overall, it was it was a success in my opinion. And I had a lot of fun. Um, I had fun because it's different. And I think a lot of people are, are really scared of different. And so when you add up time, lack of time, uh, pressure on these tiers, maybe not having the right ships, lack of ships being competitive, uh, you could have a bit of a bummer and i think that's what a lot of people were having but uh, overall i think it was good and i hope we see more because i really think that wargaming in general world of warships in general is in a massive need of just needing more things to do with the same ships instead of just getting new ships because of how easy it is to get free xp because of how easy it is to just progress through this game um it really 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 is uh in dire needs of new stuff that's why i'm so optimistic about rank sprint that's why i'm so optimistic about this potentially being a game mode i'm so optimistic about um the supply lines and stuff like that constantly having something new because right now when i got done with this season and jumped back into random battles i was so fucking bored the uh, with the game not so much about playing cvs and or, or whatever playing against cvs i didn't care but um it felt like it's definitely dry so i'm definitely am Kind of on board with everyone feeling the burnout right now it definitely is and especially with um cb rework i know i, I don't want this to be a cb rework but i think i probably said it like 15 times it just so happens to be timed uh terribly with the cb rework um 
but uh, and there's a nice little depth strike, so don't be chilling there. So, and here you see me have the wrong ammo loaded and go into this and then lose this gunfight because I'm an absolute noob. But uh, we got rank one anyway, so I I'm really interested in what you guys think. What did you guys think about this season of rank battles? Did you enjoy it? Uh, did you enjoy parts of it? Do you think I'm correct with saying if we had more time to learn the game mode, if the game mode was out for a bit more, would you have enjoyed it more? And that first salvo basically killed me. As you saw right there, I lost basically two salvos, um, which would have been about 4K life probably. So, and here I absolutely missed that and completely messed this up. But in the end, we win this and you can see the goofy jetline behind me. Potentially almost lose a gunfight too. But overall, we got rank one. And uh, I think I think our uh, <laughs> that was kind of funny when we did it, but um, our uh, Musashi ends up getting the kill on him in a little bit. But overall, we got rank one, easy peasy. It was actually pretty fun, and the thing I liked it is because it was different. But there's a lot of stuff I think that could change in the future, and really I, I kind of hope that some stuff does change and we see this mode back. It needs more testing. I felt like it was way 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 too new of a game mode um to have it be an official game mode and uh i would like to see some changes and i would like to see this come back though in the future because it could easily be something that's very successful and adds in some variety which i really think this this game is in dire dire need of because of how just how much random battles has just kind of fallen into this whatever it is whatever random battles is these days but still um Still, let me know in the comments below. It's still a little bit of time from when I'm recording this, and I really kind of want to get you guys' feedback. Um, again, just the TLDR at the end of the video. Lack of variety on ships. Probably as terrible timing as they could have ever done. And three, I think I think timed with a lot of people um, taking a break from the game due to other circumstances going on, also being a short season. So anyways, guys, that's it for me. Hope you guys are getting out there, getting your ranked wins, and hopefully having some fun like I did. I actually really enjoyed it. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.